it crosses the generation gap. I take this to car shows. Kids who are five years old to guys who are 90 just love this car, you know, and, and you make friends. This, I've made so many friends because of this car. Number five is Jim Clark, one of the most famous Lotus racing drivers alive, so he put the Jim, Jim Clark number five on. Well, in a lot of the historic photographs uh, and footage, we found that the interior should have been red. So we got hold of an associate of Colin Chapman's son. I remember my upholstery guy at the time, you're going to have a bright red interior, this is going to look terrible, you know, don't do it. And I said, no, we're going to do it because it's how it was. Of course, as soon as we did it, everybody just said, wow, this pops, I love the interior. When you look at this car, you know, it's like a speed race for that kind of movie, isn't it? You know, The ultimate car designer. I've been through the years, Formula One. So to drive a car designed by Colin Chapman is he's legendary. Yeah? Um, the Lotus 11, the reason he called it a Lotus 11 was they all used to have 1100 cc engines in Okay, well, that's why it's named the Lotus 11. And, um, yeah, but it's, it's a piece of history. Yeah, yeah. This was designed in 19. 1958, and uh, really designed for Le Mans and a lot of the endurance, a lot of endurance uh, racing here. So, they used to have in the car a Coventry climax, which would be a 1100cc engine. And then over the years, they tried different engines, even had a Maserati engine here at one point, a Saab engine. So, in 1965, they put a Ford block in here, and then Colin Chapman designed a twin cam, twin overhead cam. So the original camshaft is still in inside the engine. All it's doing is turning the distributor, and uh, you have the twin overhead cam now between the rest of the working box. You know? This engine is actually a 1600 engine, very, very powerful. As you can imagine, 950 pounds in weight for a 1600 engine. I was only about 1965. What well, my favourite thing about owning the car, again, you're driving a piece of history, I'm the caretaker for this car. But the fun, the fun factor, I have a Lotus, you know, F1 360. You can do 100 miles an hour in that. Feels like 45, right? In this car, you can be 45, and it feels like 100 miles an hour. The adrenaline rush you get at the lower speeds, your backside is four inches off the ground. This is a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs>